uh, here I'm solving uh, doubts sent by the students uh, the problem uh, this is based on time and work the content development team uh, was working at a uniform rate to develop 2500 questions in 10 weeks uh, but after working for six weeks the content development team was informed by the management that the remaining questions had to be developed in one week uh, by what percentage does the team need to increase its rate of development of questions so that it can complete developing the remaining questions in one week? Okay, so it's a pretty simple question. Just listen to me carefully. You don't require even a paper and pen to solve this question. See, the total work is of 10 weeks and the total work is 100%, right? Uh, so 10% work is done in each week, right? Maybe week if you uh, say 10 week or 6 week and maybe 10 days 6 days right um, numerically there is no difference so 10 percent work is to be done uh, per week right so in 6 weeks 60 percent of the work is done 60 percent of 2500 that is 1500 questions are already done now we are left with 40 percent of the uh, work right now the remaining work that is 40 percent it has to be done in just one week now one week is what 10 percent of the total duration right so now what is happening 40 percent work is left and that has to be done in just one week that is just 10 percent of the time right 40 percent of the work 10 percent of the time right that means speed has to be four times okay 40 percent work 10 percent time right so speed has to be four uh, times right so four times that means 400 percent should be the speed right so increase in speed will be 300 percent speed will be four times that means 400 percent but increase will be 400 minus 100 300 percent okay so your answer is 300 percent so that was a very simple question let's take the next one uh, this question based on geometry in the figure given below a circle with center O rectangle ABCD uh, and a rectangle ABCD are drawn the circle touches side CD at E and passes through the points A and F if AO is equal to 3 AO that is the radius of the circle and DF is equal to 1 that is this length and DC is equal to 8 that means one of the side of the rectangle is given to be 8 then what is the area of rectangle now the simplest thing over here is the the one side of the rectangle is given to be as 8 right now what will be the area of the rectangle that is AD into DC now if DC is equal to 8 that means the uh, area of rectangle must be multiple of 8 so among the option we just have one choice that is multiple of 8 right so bright chances are there 40 is the correct answer because we don't have any other option which is multiple of 8 now good number of students may think uh, maybe this length is in fraction right fraction that means something divided by 2 if something is divided by 2 still the area should be multiple of 4 so we don't have any other option right so if uh, you wish to save time you can use this method right otherwise next thing is one more thing we can eliminate the option COE that is the radius of the circle right that's 3 AO is 3 that means OE will also be 3 right and this length must be definitely more than 3 right because we are missing this length from AD okay so this length must be more than 3 that means the area must be more than 24 right so this is also eliminated okay further one more step I tell you see this AF is nothing but the chord of this circle right so if you drop a perpendicular from center it will bisect the chord right so I make a rectangle over here this way okay now th this complete length that is OE is 3 and DF is given to us as uh, 1 that means this length this length must be 2 this complete length is 3 this is 1 that means this length must be 2 that means this length must be 2 that means this complete length must be 4 right this is 4 and this is 1 that means this complete length is 5 right so AD is 5 DC is already given to be 8 so the area of rectangle will be 40 okay so I have shown you the three methods by
by which you can solve this problem right you can directly mark the answer as 40 because we don't have any other option that is multiple of 8 and multiple of 4 right and the data given over here we cannot get a fraction that is uh, still reducing it to more than 1 by 2 right so don't worry 40 will be the correct answer Uh, what digit does A represent if 35 factorial is this? Here A is this. Now the problem can be solved easily if we apply the divisibility rule of 9 because 35 factorial should be definitely divisible by 9, right? And what is the divisibility rule of 9? That is sum of digits should be divisible by 9, right? So here this entire number is divisible by 9 and the inclusive of A sum of digit should be divisible by 9 or I can say the sum of digit should be ultimately 9 right so we can find out the value of a right for that uh, we, ne we need to eliminate the 9's which are already there right so s suppose there are 3 3 so that means it is 9 okay 3 6 that's 9 okay just eliminate them carefully so you don't uh, end up making mistakes this 9 gone this 9 gone this 9 gone then we have 7 plus 4, 11, 12 and 1, 13, 13 plus uh, 5, 18, then we have 3, 6, then we have 1, 8 and 1, uh, we are left with 3, from here we can take 7 and 2, 9, then 1, 2, 3, 3's are there, so here it is 3, 4, 4, then 2, then 5 then 2 so 5 and 4 9 so now we are left with 4 and 3 7 8 9 uh, we have one one or also there so 4 and 3 7 2 9 now we are left with 2 plus 1 that is 3 so a plus 3 should be 9 so that means a must be 6 okay